Hi friends, after explaining the blueprint class, now I explain the implementation class. Carefully follow that class. As I told you already, whether you are working on GDB compiler or not, give it as a main. In which class we are defining a main, you declare it as a main class. Okay, why it is, it is meaningful also. Actually, there only, suppose a blueprint is there. If blueprint is not used, it is just a concept only. There is no use. And uh, it is being implemented here. That's why you can call it as a, a main class. And you give a, you write a comment also. Implementation class. Like this, you write a comment. That's a good habit. And you, you write the body of this. As I told you, if it is on UDP compiler, automatically you control that. It is automatically formed. We need not worry about that. Thereafter, you have to write here two spaces you leave. Public static void main string arcs. Invariably, you must write the main signature of the main complete header you have to write. Thereafter again, a body for the main you create. Okay. Thereafter, now you see blocks. Clearly, blocks should be shown without any effort. Okay. That is the discipline. Now, we have to instantiate object. We have to create object. So, first what we do? Blueprint class name we take and and object name actually this is object reference name cb1 okay thereafter new thereafter cash bill this is the way already very detailedly explained to you once again for the sake of assertion i am explaining this because of that what happened on stack memory on stack memory this is stack memory. Sta on stack memory only, we can give names. So, what is the name of this? This is cache bill. Its name is cache bill. Uh, sorry. Its name is CB1. Its type is cache bill. It is like already I told you. This creates a thread of the kite. This is not the kite. This is like a thread of the kite. And as a result of that, what happened? and a required amount of memory is created on heap heap memory this is stack memory this is stack memory that point here we can give names here we cannot give names this also allocate memory space here also we can get memory space allocated the only difference is here we cannot give the names and all that okay now what new does actually here three variables are three instance variables are there it gets memory allocated for the three variables like this so we cannot give name actually this is this type is cache bill only type we know but we cannot give name simply you call it as an object suppose your name is Ramesh your father's name is Mohan so here like Mohan son, that's it. We cannot give a name. Here, with this only, it get a name, that is CB1. Okay. Now, first thing is, new perform three jobs. First job is, first job is, it gets required amount of memory on heap, like this. Here, three instance variables are there, and three it created. And it, it, it fill them with the default values. Default values means, for a string default value is null. You need not much bother about it. This default value is zero. Ints default value is zero. Floats default value is zero. You don't much, you don't unnecessarily you are confused. But if I don't tell that, somebody may raise a point. That's why new second job is it fills the instance variable initially with a default value. For a string, for a string it is null. For a int it is zero. For float, it is 0, 0.0. That point you understand that is not 
material here just to keep third one is this is this is the, like a kite and uh, now this this is a string both should be connected then only you can play with the kite that point you have to understand so third job is new assigns its address to this one as a result of that this is created here this is just like a string this is like a kite once you tie up it is you you treat it as one only so this is the object structure behind the scenes if you understand that you can get answers for many logical questions so this is over your object is created what is the name of the object cb1 okay now cb1 all these are empty so cb1 via cb1 in order to initialize the object what should we do we have to call set data method via cb1 why we call it instance method this is the instance why i instance only we call that's why it is instance method now in the same order we have to pass values now we see pens this is the item name second one numbers it is 10 integer third one it is 9 rupees 50 paise f yeah. this you don't forget so in this way you initialize you pass out three arguments where they go again i tell you pens goes here enter they goes here enter and they goes here this way you have to you form a mental picture don't uh, don't assume anything form a mental picture and proceed then 10 goes here n goes here then number goes here then 950 goes here in turn it comes here in turn it goes here because of this uh, this thing this is invisible assignment suppose if i write like that you can easily understand this visible assignment here is a container in this 10 you are storing anybody can understand but as far as this is concerned why people are confused this is a invisible assignment we cannot see that but it will happen okay now this point you have to understand okay now instance variables are initialized initialize then what you, you, you can if you want to display it what you want to do demo demo cash bill you call you need not pass any argument as i told you already this is like your mouth this is set data is like your mouth from outside you have to supply the food this is like your heart it should take whatever inputs it requires it should takes directly it takes and here sop statements are there in turn these are printed as a as a result of that as a result of that your cash bill is printed if you want cb2 second cash bill you give different values like a notebook 5 16 rupees to 25 paise you can give like that n number of objects of the cash bill type you can create so in this manner through hands on approach each and every bit you understand understand and if you still have some doubts then write to me write to me or otherwise in the next program automatically those are clarified no doubt about that